National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences welcomes you to the 21st Mid-South Student Awards honoring high school production. I'm Leland Statham. As a member of the Mid-South Board of Governors, I am proud to host your Student Production Awards. My day job is Senior Meteorologist and co-host of Talk of the Town at the News Channel 5 Network in America's Music City. We are coming to you from Nashville today from the studios of TNDV who are video streaming this presentation for you. In this, our 21st year, we received a record number of entries, nearly 300. Congratulations to the more than 700 student names that were entered, which led to 228 who were nominated. It is a tribute to their creativity in 16 categories. According to Academy rules, the entries were judged by panels of television professionals. The judges scored for content, creativity, and execution. All regional winners will be entered into a national competition. The Academy is proud to foster the next generation of communicators. So let's get started. The next category includes public affairs and community service. The nominees are 2022 Germantown Horse Show, Germantown High, American Hero Expo, Stewart's Creek High School, Banned Books, Ravenwood High, The Clean Water Act Feature Story, Christ Presbyterian Academy, Town of Arlington Pushes for Growth and Development, Arlington High. The Public Affairs Community Service Student Award winner is the Clean Water Act Feature Story, CPA. This year marks the 50th anniversary of the Clean Water Act, a bill requiring states to monitor and improve water quality throughout the United States. The bill was introduced and passed by Congress after the public outcry from Ohio's Cuyahoga River, which was so spoiled by industrial pollution that the river caught fire in 1969. Hi, I'm Sydney, and I have the honor of accepting the Best Public Affairs Community Service Student Production Award on behalf of Christ Presbyterian Academy's Media Studio. This year, I led a collaborative film project with the Harpeth Conservancy, an organization dedicated to preserving and improving impaired rivers throughout Tennessee. I would like to thank the passionate team at Harpeth Conservancy for offering me a media internship, and my advisor, Mr. Elson, for allowing me to use my passion for media to serve and make a positive, lasting impact. Thank you again. Now we come to the nonfiction category. Here are the projects the judges admired. The nominees are Half the Park Happens After Dark, Christ Presbyterian Academy, Homefulness Documentary, Christ Presbyterian Academy, In and Out Burger, a short film, Brentwood High, Mr. Reliable, a Van Jefferson story, Ravenwood High, TMS Transcranial Magnetic Stimulation, Brentwood High School. The nonfiction winner is Half the Park Happens After Dark, CPA. Um, every single person over generations and generations of people have been able to look up at the same stars, and I just think there's something really, just really compelling about that. I, I see this actually quite frequently, but I think every time it gets me is seeing somebody get to experience the Milky Way for the first time. You know, it's something that's overhead all of us. Hi, my name is Lily. And I'm Sam. And we have the honor of accepting this student production award for best nonfiction on behalf of the media program at Christ Presbyterian Academy. This year, our team traveled to Montana to create an environmental film with the Glacier National Park Conservancy. We would like to thank park ranger Debbie Smith, who leads the Half the Park Happens After Dark program, and her efforts to preserve the dark night sky. We also would like to thank our media teacher, Mr. Elson, for encouraging us to step beyond the walls of the traditional classroom and conduct our own investigation. Thank you again. Our next category, photography. Many people run cameras, but these students have talent that impress the judges. The nominees are Flagship Homecoming 2022, Franklin High, Logan Reed, Christ Presbyterian Academy, Nathan Campbell, Independence High, Olivia Freeman Cinematography Reel, Ravenwood High School. And the winner is Logan Reed, CPA. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, please forgive us for all of our personal sins. Thank you for all your wonderful blessings. And please help us help each other as we try to struggle through life's journey. And if you don't mind, dear Lord, let us help somebody else along the way. And in Jesus' name, I pray. Hey, me! Hey, me! Hi. My name is Kinsey, and I'm accepting the Student Production Award for Best Photographer on behalf of my fellow media showrunner, Logan Reed. 
Logan is our Director of Photography at Christ Presbyterian Academy Media Studio. First and foremost, Logan would like to thank Jesus Christ. He would also like to thank everyone on his production team who helped him on, on location with his projects this year. He would also like to thank his parents and the National Academy of Television, Arts and Sciences and our media advisor, Mr. Elson, for his steadfast support. Our next category is editing, which is a critical part of storytelling, putting the pieces where they belong. The editing nominees are Breaking the Fourth Order, Hillwood High School, Flagship Homecoming 2022, Franklin High, Sydney Moore Christ Presbyterian Academy, The Mind Electric Independent High, Trying My Best, Page High School. The editing award goes to Sydney Moore Christ Presbyterian Academy. Hi, I'm Sydney, and this year I served as one of the showrunners at Christ Presbyterian Academy's Media Studio in Nashville, Tennessee. I have the honor of accepting this Best Editor Student Production Award on behalf of our media program. I spent many hours utilizing the Adobe Creative Suite to produce several of our music videos and feature stories this year. Now looking back, I can say that I am thankful for the opportunity to work with such a collaborative team. I would like to thank everyone involved with my projects, Jesus Christ, the Academy of Television Arts and Sciences, and my teacher, Mr. Elson. Thank you again.